All of you know how animal exploitation is likened to human slavery on the one hand and the Holocaust on the other. And yes, you'll get no argument from me. Animal exploitation really does resemble human slavery and Holocaust. But another thing I think animal exploitation resembles even more than slavery and the Holocaust is war. As far back as 1985, I talked about people waging an undeclared war against other animals, human beings doing that. Well, sometimes the war is declared, especially in the case of wildlife, especially in the case of introduced feces. In the case of vivisection, the fur mills, the hog industry, most people, most of the time, do not think in terms of waging a war. But think about it. Wars have four major characteristics. One, individuals are injured. Two, those on the other side are killed. Three, they are imprisoned. Four, weapons are used. Well, the same things happen on fur mills in the hog industry in the, in the lab. First, these industries injure animals. Second, they kill them. Third, animals are imprisoned. And fourth, weapons are used. Of course, people usually don't talk in terms of weapons. They talk in terms of tools. Screwdrivers and hammers are tools. Given the war analogy, stereotaxics, devices, and electric bras are weapons. Some people might think that the war analogy absolves meat eaters and fur wearers of any direct wrong. After all, they are not waging war. They are not injuring, killing, or imprisoning animals. But this way of thinking overlooks the role played by mercenaries. Mercenaries are high professional soldiers who fight for one side or another. Well, that's the role consumers play the undeclared war being waged against other animals. Consumers pay today's mercenaries to do the dirty work while keeping their own hands clean. Now, the war analogy might be a better way to think about what the major animal abusing industries are doing than the two common analogies I mentioned earlier, human slavery and the Holocaust. Think about slavery. Most cases, it was in the interest of slave owners not to kill their slaves, whereas it is in the interest of large-scale animal explorers to do so. And as for the Holocaust, one of its principal aims was to eradicate various groups of people, Jews, homosexuals, Seventh-day Adventists, whereas in commercial animal agriculture and the fur industry, for example, their aims are to increase the number of animals they raise and kill. Now, I'm not saying the war analogy fits perfectly. It doesn't. Hogs and chickens are not enemies aiming to injure or imprison or kill us, which leads me to believe that what we as a species are doing to other animals is unique, one of a kind.